C3 tonight. Public safety news with Maverick and OK Michael is on. Hello. Hello. You know what the funny thing is? I layered because it's supposed to be kind of, you know, like cool out and it's warm. Is it warm? Yeah, I'm, I'm warm. Aren't you warm? It's like, I don't know, like 50 some degrees. <laughs> Oh, I'm a little wound up. We uh, were just over at uh, Safeway on 19th and S at, uh, on Petrovich property. And uh, we've been longtime customers there. There's a new security guard who doesn't like us for whatever. We cannot figure out why he doesn't like us. But every time we pull in to go to the Safeway there, he takes our pictures and says he's calling the cops. He did, he called the cops uh, one time, and the officer came, and he says, Oh, you guys? He says, What's up? I said, I don't know. The security guard's just harassing us. <laughs> no reason, but we'll take off and get out of his way, because evidently he doesn't like us. Do not know what the problem is, but uh, we contact the, the manager inside, and... Uh, the Safeway doesn't have anything to do with the outside security, so we have to contact uh, Petrovich Properties and have a chit chat with them about their outside security that's harassing us. So, anyway, so that's how we started our night off. How is everybody? There's Ma. Hey, Ma. And our sponsor tonight is Angel Wings Boutique. That is my sister's business, uh, Joey, a.k.a. The Brat. And she makes the most wonderful handcrafted items. Uh, crochet and stitchery thing, items, and she's extremely creative. And uh, so if you're looking for a special Christmas handcrafted item for somebody you'll want to go over to that link and uh, right. check that out you guys did the unit with Taz right? Inez, I believe that's how you pronounce it, good evening yeah, when you're done with their call, can you stream by this one please? Slide over here by uh, Lavender Heights real quick and check in with everybody and check some messages we have already. And it's a busy night already downtown. One Alpha 32, Sergeant, a copy of this unit needed on a 927 in progress. 2805 8 Henry Street and 3B. The transient trying to break into the laundry room using a large metal pole. Hmm. Ended up with a dark blue or gray sweatshirt and shorts. Has a white bandage on his right hand. Tonight, this other call was an addition unit needed in 3B. Oh, that guy just stole their phone. We're not 
So here we are right here at uh, Ellen 20th and this guy just stole their phone. <laughs> and she's taking off after them. And hopefully they're uh, calling the police on that. Do you have a phone that you can track her phone with? Because that'll help, no, that'll help the cops. Friend. Okay. Wow, we just pulled up here and uh, we're already in the action. Good grief. That's kind of frustrating. I'm afraid, you know, we see that happen and there's not a lot we can do about it. All right, well, we'll hope uh, this turns out. Uh, we'll see if we hear something about that coming across the radio soon. Uh, he was going to go get his car and go track the guy down himself. <laughs> wow. Like I said, never a dull moment in downtown Sacramento. And this is the stuff that people don't realize um, because there's no other night Pretty news incredible. coverage other than us. We're it. But people don't realize how things are in downtown Sacramento at night if we weren't out covering it. Good stuff, Josh. Oh, hey, Michael, your stalker's watching. <laughs> I just need. Just let the crystal. <laughs> Patrick, obviously a police surplus vehicle. Uh, well, yeah, the, yeah, these come up on uh, auction pretty cheap, and uh, most of Lava's independent uh, photojournalist, news photojournalist, breaking news photojournalists. We drive Crown Vicks. For the same reason the, the police do, because they handle our gear well, and uh, it's a good news platform for us. Paula, howdy. Joe, how's it going? Welcome. Dee Dee, good morning. Is late. She's wearing blue jeans and black boots just above her knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, saw that there and uh, thanks for showing that to your friend in Kansas City. Hey sis, hey you're awake, wow. And so uh, right there, jo Joanna Nicholas, she is our sponsor, her business is our sponsor tonight, Angel Wings Boutique. So again, you'll want to go over there and see all the handcrafted items that she makes if you uh, need a handcrafted item for Christmas this year for somebody. There's the spot. <laughs> Justine says, uh, I was kind of hoping to see Maverick and Michael haul their butts after the, after the thief. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> All righty. So we'll uh, jump on our beat check. How's that sound, Michael? Mm-hmm. Sound like a good idea? Yeah. Go see what's going on around the city. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm horrible with names. I believe it's by Lisa Kwan. Howdy. Yeah, it's uh, spitting a little bit. 
it should be dying off. So yeah, just uh, some tips for everybody though, because um, don't realize cell phones are like one of the stolen device, right. and just like that, um, that guy came by and just ripped that out of her hand. Be when you're out and about, be cognizant of your surroundings, and don't make yourself an easy target. Keep your phone in your pocket when you're out and about, or keep it close to you, um, and not out, kind of like holding it down to your side or somewhere where it can be easily grabbed. Sure, by Lisa, uh, but I don't think we didn't uh, cover anything on Richards today. Uh, we didn't have anybody on until uh, we're just now coming on. So everybody, all our, everyone on our team was tied up. I believe that was a crash into a pole, and I think that cut the fiber line that feeds CHP because uh, oh. they said statewide outage for CAD. Wow, and that's CHP headquarters. Yep. Wow, there you go. Okay, Michael, I had some info for you there. But yeah, you can go ahead and uh, direct messages. I won't be able to pick that up till later though, because all of our devices are uh, tied up on our activities tonight. So I'll catch you later on it, if that's okay. Awesome, great, thank you. <laughs> Good deal, Dee Dee. Uh, the other thing to be aware of with your mobile devices, uh, safety tip on those, um, both your iPhones, iPads, anything like that, um, don't leave them sitting out. Don't leave them sitting out in your car. Um, there is like a ring of um, individuals. It's like an or it's an organized thing. Um, they look for those mobile devices in your car and do smash and grabs and then they uh, sell them over to the Orient where they're not able to get them. And they didn't know about that but uh, we found that out from the police department a while back. So it's actually a very large um, theft organization I think based out of the Bay Area, you're hitting all the way uh, down to Los Angeles and all the way up here, Oakland, Stockton. Outbridge oh, is still blocked off. So if you were uh, with us last night, 
uh, we were kind of hanging out down the street down here behind us and all of a sudden we heard an officer come up and he was in foot pursuit of a subject down here off of uh, 10th and L it, I think it started out around N and 10th on the other side of the Capitol and the subject was armed with a gun and uh, he tossed the gun what is and uh, he tossed the gun and finally was caught and they recovered the gun and he was before the foot pursuit he was trying to toss his keys off to uh, some of his cohorts for the car and they located the car and that vehicle pulled right into the mess where all the uh, officers were and they were, then they were going the wrong direction so uh, they got caught and uh, were taken into custody right in front of our live so. and just a good example of how us being out on the streets and monitoring everything and that's how we get action news so quickly And just a reminder for those that are on with us, um, our live broadcast is secondary. Uh, so sometimes we may have to bail out of the car and go do what we need to do. And uh, we'll leave you guys to watch the car for us, but we'll be right back. Uh, sometimes we're able to uh, bring you out on the gimbal, uh, depending on what the situation is. And uh, when we're responding to news incidents, be responding to comments. We'll try to give you some narrative along the way, but we'll be focused on what we need to be doing. And this is called One Center Arena. G1C and the DOCO Downtown Commons. What's the uh, big marathon thing tomorrow, Michael? The annual California International Marathon. It's like how many? Do you know how many participants are expecting? I don't know. It's big. Big. The biggest race. It's a Boston qualifier. I have no idea how many, but it's a lot. It's the biggest race of the year in California, I think. Three hundred ninety-one Ooh, look at all the new lights up there. Yeah. We'll look around and show off all the lights over here later. Kind of cool. Delta 31, Sam Street, a copy of 496G, 2020 L Street 3B, yep. complaining his friends were at faces when their purse was taken with a cell phone and they're tracking it to this 925. Yeah. Yep. That's the cell phone theft right there that just came over the radio. So we'll head back to that area uh, since they are tracking the phone. What was the location they gave? 22nd and L. 22nd and L, so it's being tracked to 22nd and L. And that's your fairly just confirming this plan on the phone here. Just be aware if you're uh, coming downtown tomorrow uh, that there are a lot of road closures, uh, so be prepared for that. Just don't come downtown. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> don't try to cross the river either. Fair Oaks is usually blocked. Oh, Fair Oaks? Would be okay across the river by canoe? Sure. Just on a rubber raft, right? Yeah. Okay. What a smart alley. Man. Oh, that security guard got me going. <laughs> uh, the, 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 it's one of my pet peeves is, you know, I you know, you appreciate security guards that do their job well. 
uh, but there's ones who uh, really overstep and this guy is just he's like focused on us for some reason No, not these ones. Those the other end. Oh, okay. Hey, Chris. Ace is uh, out of pocket tonight. He won't be with us till probably around Wednesday. Got to deal with me. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you got to deal with Michael. <laughs> Last one was yellow. I don't want to hear any harassment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, the other night, I, uh, we were like a long, long, long time at a red one. I was just finally just like, there is nobody anywhere coming from a miles away. And with those, I, I said, I hope Miss McGregor is watching. And sure enough, she was. <laughs> I, I heard about that one today. Ah, Crystal said, uh, need to give you a bad time because gave Ace a bad time last night. seen nothing for lights yet we there's some spots uh, that got a lot of lights going tonight tonight it seems like uh, they're low staffed on officers tonight and uh, so calls like this one with the stolen phone and the stolen purse uh, are gonna be a little bit lower priority so it's gonna take a while to get officers on it So I do do donut 30 on occasion, and I'm very traditional. Just to glaze the uh, round. <laughs> no, wait a minute. You do an occasional maple bar, don't you? Every once in a while, I will do a maple bar. Yeah. My teeth are very sensitive to the sugar, though, so sometimes I can't. He has sensitive teeth. Yes. It's dark over here. Yeah. I, I think, think we have an outage. I don't. I think it's just dark because there's lights on. I just yeah, that's weird. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's lights on. That's weird. That was 22nd in L, wasn't it? Yeah. When the call was dispatched. Yeah, when it was dispatched. 
so who knows where they're at now. Haven't heard any updates. It's an Uber Lyft driver, I think. So they don't uh, take off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> My wife may say the same thing. <laughs> Attention Sergeant 3, they're spinning 952 in the area of Richards and I-5. Possibly close to the Arco station on Jaboom Street. That's a female caller being harassed by another female for CHP. It was nothing physical. They tried to call back. Help voice only. 952 call spinning in 3 8. One female there, got it. No one's going to three just have four Oh, Juan. Juan killed a dozen of Krispy Kreme like nothing. I, I, once you have Marie's Donuts at 3 o'clock in the morning, you will never go back to Krispy Kreme. I, like, that just turns my stomach right there now. Before, I would have been right there with you. But, uh, yeah. And you, know, and you know he means it because every time he brings up Marie's, he says that. He won't go back to Krispy Kreme. That, there you go. See? Yeah, no, uh, we, we go through 22nd and L. Uh, 20th and L is where it originally occurred. But the phone was mapping to 22nd and L back there. We'll just hang out here in the area. For a little bit. And see if anything pops up. Just kind of hang out. Yeah, ma. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, no cauliflower for me. Yeesh. You'll have to give up all my secrets, so. Sheesh. Yeah, Crystal, not too adventurous, so. Yeah, like, like, like Ma said there. Uh, yeah, ixnate on the cauliflower. Well, cool, Brandy. We're glad. That's that's kind of the idea. Man, Cassandra, I forgot about the which, which coffee. Who was supposed to buy me coffee? I could go for some coffee right now. <laughs> Michael, mm. you don't bring home donuts anymore. You don't buy her. You don't bring her flowers anymore either, do you? <laughs> I'll bring her donuts. Oh, looks like you're gonna get donuts th uh, in, in the morning, Justine. What do you want? Place your order now. Yeah, Patrick, a Whistler is a good one, but also uh, the Unidens. Um, if you're listening in Sacramento, you got to get the SDS 100. There you go. Blows everything else out of the water. Yeah, the, SD, yeah, the SDS 100 Uniden is... Uh, whoo! Yeah, that's, that's a nice radio right there. And it picks up stuff that none of the other radios pick up from a long way away. 
I can be, granted it's up on a hill, but up in Butte County and get Sacramento loud and clear on that radio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, they didn't buy me coffee. Can you imagine that? Yeah, I was out. I was out in the rain, you know, doing the live mm -hmm. while these guys were being taken in custody last night. And I look over, and Ace and Dan are under the Easy Up. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, hey, now that's teamwork. Yeah, and they have the long lenses, so you know they, you know, they didn't have to get up there in the action. So. <laughs> Gotta get wet. You know? That's the rule. Hey, that's called, like I said, that's working smart. They're using their long lenses. Yeah. Did you copy that call? Oh, uh, it's around a little over 600 there, Steve. Uh, Craig, we're in Sacramento, California. Uh oh, alarm somewhere. Oh, what? Faces. Back door oh, alarm. Back door alarm. Oh, there you go, Justine. Got that's the uh, dollar figure there for you, six forty nine before taxes. Huh? I wonder why she knows that. Yeah, why does she know that? Christmas is coming. Hmm. Hmm. How far away it was, uh... Uh, where I, where I'm at up there from Sacramento, it's about 90 miles. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, you can see the valley pretty well, but, uh, it's just amazing. And I can still, there's a hill up in Chico, too, when I'm coming down the hill from, uh, on Highway 36, I think, uh, I can get it there too, pretty well. It's amazing. Yeah, Crystal. Um, God, glad you said that uh, because one of the things we uh, try to mention once in a while, uh, we strongly discourage that. Uh, we're trained. We've been doing this for a lot of years. I'm a former, former paramedic firefighter, and uh, most of our team are professionals from some walk of life like that. And uh, that's one thing I don't like about the shows shot in the dark. And some of the other ones, they kind of put, hey, does anybody can you know, jump out? No, we do not recommend that at all. And uh, even like with our new team members, they go through a full orientation. They ride along with us for a while before um, we uh, kind of set them free on their own and uh, give them their give them their uh, credentials. So uh, yeah. Not, not something we recommend. Actually, uh, pretty much discourage that. So that we've been working with uh, local law enforcement for a long time, and uh, they all know us very well. And uh, the fire department. Well, if 
might end up a hold here. There's a there's a lot of nuances to what we do that a lot of folks don't know or understand about. And judgment calls when to head into a scene when it's safe, when it's not. All right, no updates on this. Yeah, there usually aren't on these 496Gs. Ends up usually being a report call, I think. Yeah. Probably took the battery out of the phone or something. To... Wow, the rain is really coming down again. That was supposed to let up a bit. I love it. Yeah, but it looks kind of crummy in the window. That's fine. <laughs> Do you hear that guy? He said, he said that's fine. He doesn't want you guys to see what's going on. Jeez. Injured male inside dive bar. Wonder how he got injured. Uh, yeah, Ma, yeah. Uh, she's from Vancouver, Washington, so. And then when she goes up and visits family and comes back, I always tell her, okay, I gotta check you for mold. <laughs> Street here. Oh, and the uh, Golden One sign group. Oh, yeah. CS USPD, I think. Amped up their power. I can get them loud and clear now. Wow. There's Chrissy Cooley stopping by where Chrissy? Where are you stopping by? <laughs> oh, we were near your neck of the woods, weren't we? Right before the high five south, high five north split. Elk Grove PD spun out. I help you in which direction are you traveling? Oh, I got me. Oh, engine's pulling out. We'll Innocent get out of their way. I copy your message. Let engine two roll out and medic two. Four, three, one, two. Where are they Oh, they're heading to a dive bar. Yep. Oh, no fair, they get to go through. No, 141, we're uh, blocking the number four lane. I don't have CAD to see any details. CAD's down, statewide. Yep. In the Carmen San Diego, are you? We're in downtown Sacramento. Uh, we're currently uh, I Street at 12th, heading uh, westbound on I Street. Toward. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing?
guys doing? All righty. Leave over saying we got to be like drive extra defensive down here at night. People kind of make their own rules. Boeing 36, engine and medic 2. Okay. Engine and medic 2 are on scene at dive bar. Pop over to Richards real quick and uh, check out that wreck. It sounded like uh, part of the street was still shut down over there. We'll take the uh, rail yards route because it's a little more picturesque. Mike Perry's on. Lacing up his Velcros. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Lisa, it's no uh, real big deal. It's, uh, it's almost therapeutic. <laughs> uh, it's just slowing down and just be aware of um, Let's see, I'm trying to be nice. Um, people who aren't driving so well. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, this rain is going down pretty good. So right now we're on Jaboom, heading towards Richards. Where an earlier incident occurred that uh, has severed fiber optic lines into California Highway Patrol headquarters. Remember a while back when there was um, they were all getting cut. Yeah, that that rash there. There were some vandals that were purposely cutting fiber optic lines. I think they were thinking that they were copper. And then they cut them and there would be no copper. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.
Uh, got you there, Craig. And Patrick, not sure what you're talking about. Fog on the building? Oh, oh signal lights are flashing here. The uh, caps earlier were saying this area was pitch black, so. So power's probably just come back on. They re diverted power. Not, not Denny's coffee, Cassandra. Well, no, I, have, I have some respect uh, for proper coffee. <laughs> ah. Road work ahead. 436, one Yep, so Richards is closed at North 7th, and uh, you can see straight down there on the left-hand side, they're uh, doing work and replacing the stuff on the pole, so uh, Richards is closed. Oh no, what are we going to do? Oh, I guess we'll turn right. And now we're heading back toward downtown. So Richards is on the far north perimeter of downtown Sacramento, heading into the river district. The area that's being developed right now. I was coming back from the north part of the state the other day, mm -hmm. and I was coming down 99 from like from Sutter County. And out there, you know, it's just a bunch of rice fields and everything. The, right. You can see downtown way off in the distance. And the sun was hitting one of the buildings just right. Huge reflection. Off Emerald, Emerald of, City. Yeah, it's yep. just crazy. Yep. Uh, and, and my thought was, man, the planes must get hit a lot coming you know, in out yeah. the airport there. Remember I had a uh, office up in Auburn. A long time ago, I was the area coordinator for Legal Shield, and uh, uh, we'll go down fifth here. Back when we get the turn lane. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I come home, uh, the sun would just be hitting just right off of Emerald City, that one building. Yeah, it's on the uh, corner of Capitol and Fourth.
Remember baby Dizzy with the windshield wipers? Ah, peppermint hot chocolate's good stuff. Joe Reyes, howdy, thank you for joining us. Yeah, exactly, Craig. Yeah, it's uh, a little annoying right now. Yeah, exactly, Lisa. Yeah, that's why it's down. The cat's down. Daughter's home from Sonoma State. Good stuff, Christy. Got daughter home for the holidays. Good stuff. Wow, windows fogging up. Yeah, I'm thirty-one to start. Nine nine two six two six I Street, possibly from Crystal One. Slightly on the bins, but voice lines, nothing heard or said. They try to call back to Crystal Voice, but only 626 Ice Street Apartment 601. Super Gabigur. Oh, cool stuff, Crystal. I had some uh, hot chocolate tonight at a uh, Sunrise inbound. event that we went to with the. Uh, they make Reese's Pieces, uh, Reese's uh, whipped cream. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, whoa. That was pretty good. I'll have to try that. Good stuff. 415 family times 8. What? <laughs> if people involved in a family disturbance, can we just all get along? Howdy from Clearwater Beach, Florida. Howdy, Susie. Welcome. Okay, Susie, what's the weather like out there in Florida? Or to... Oh, now there you go. Hot chocolate and Andy's mints. Yep. I am a definite sucker for Andy's mints. When I, was, when I was a kid, my mom used to give me... I can guarantee my stocking every year. I have a whole package of Andy's mints. I make myself sick on them. I love those things. And Sam, too, on that nice little one. Uh, we can let it pin. All right, rain's laying up a little bit. No rain, 55 at night, 80 during the day, and sunny. All right, Susie, I don't like you anymore. No, just kidding. <laughs> Good stuff. That's classified, Cassandra. You got, you got, your ears work too well. <laughs> Actually, we're going to flip around. Some coffee sounds good right now. <laughs> we're actually going to go grab some coffee. Not Denny's, though. Believe it or not, McDonald's coffee is better than Denny's by on any day of the week. I like McDonald's better than Starbucks, honestly. That's me. But I'm weird. But we know you're weird. And two fifteen of the hold, please. 
Yeah, so we'll go grab some coffee there for you, Susie. We're on the way. coffee tonight not here right now the line is too long and we can't get stuck in those lines and you can't use the app at night so uh stay on the coffee that was really sounding good too I think it was Susie we we're gonna grab coffee for. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. And we got some walk in the roadway here. Eight six four. Well, thirty two. You have a call on your PC. Oh, that was uh. Mess me out for my hands. Yeah. Twenty is gonna handle the cover for seventy two. Work crapped out. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Here you, Susie. Yeah, we got, you must we work in security. We had a uh, before you came on. We had an overzealous security guard at an establishment we frequent the last eight years, and this guy's new. And doesn't know who we are. And last two times he's come on, come over and harass us, taking pictures of the car. He just does not like us for whatever reason. He even called the cops on us last time. And uh, the officer, all the officers know us. And he comes over. Oh, these guys! And uh, <laughs> I told the security guy, I said, look. For whatever reason, you got something against this, don't know what it is, but you're six, harassing six, us seven, and wasting this officer's okay, time. So five. we're going to take off so you can cool down. Five, five, zero, seven, and this zero, officer two, can get zero, back two, to his real job. <laughs> and the officer just kind of chuckled. Well, 36, it is valid. Just a reminder that uh, tonight's virtual ride-along 
is sponsored by Angel's Wings Boutique. So if you're looking for a custom, special, handcrafted Christmas present for someone, that is a good spot to start. And you can uh, direct message Joanna through her Facebook page. One off there, take one off. Four plates when you're ready. First is going to be 8 Adam X Ray Mary 804. No, no, 12. Break. Second is going to be 7 Coming in the downtown. John Yellow 821. So, for locals who may not have traveled this way into downtown before, if you come across uh, Highway 160 John from Arden area off of uh, Business 80, yeah, this will bring you right into place. downtown. Copy, 160 dumps on to 12th, inbound to downtown Sacramento, outbound, you take 16th, and uh, hit 160 from 16th. That takes you outbound toward the Arden area. Should cut the line. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't go very well there, uh, Brandy. Universal precautions for him. He's currently 11 by 50 on what type of agent. And spicy nuts. I'm not big on spicy there, uh, Bobby. I'm a kind of a bland guy. I love Mexican food. But uh, I like my stuff mild. Stay frosty. <laughs> gotcha, Craig. The last call we had at this location was um, October 20th of this year. 
of fabric hanging out of his pants. That would be a handkerchief. <laughs> Repeat, Caucasian man, dressed in all white, short haircut, buzz on the side, facial hair, about five six. Expanded traffic collision on Arden Way at Eastern. Anthony, what was the reason he was ejected? He's at the center of a disturbance or is it costing another customer about a military uniform? Last night we had uh, three teams working. You guys did were aware of it, but uh, you might have heard some of our extra side chatter. We had three teams working last night. Oops. And tonight it's just Michael and I. We had uh, a couple of team members working up north. And uh, that's kind of one of our models. We're 100% volunteer, but one of our models is we do what we can when we can, and family comes first. So, until we're able to build up some of that viewer support and sponsorships, uh, we aren't able to employ anybody full time. And once we're able to start doing that, We'll be able to start doing round the clock coverage, and we're looking forward to that day. So, right now we're in the Lavender Heights area. Pretty mellow right now. Yeah, it is pretty mellow right now. Well, it's raining, everybody wants to be inside. But, uh, hot dog sounds good. Yeah. And there, bud. So, those of you with us often, you know this is uh, one of our busy areas. Taxi day. Got a white one. Yeah, transmission went out in his Prius. So. Probably why I shake you guys up a little bit, trying to straighten this out a little bit. Hey, Stephen! Happy 29th anniversary to both of you. Good stuff. Twenty-nine years, that's awesome. You don't hear that often anymore. My wife and I are going on 18? 17 or 18? My dude, not known. That's Seems like about five years. Is that a display made of iPads back then? What? Have you seen that? No. It's like stuff displayed in the window, but it's displayed on iPads. Oh, wow. We're t go going around taking another look at it? I don't know, I, like, you have to be up at the window to see what it says. It's just text. Huh. Take a look. We use the alleys a lot to get around. Uh, while we're here off the main beat, catch up on a couple of uh, comments here. 
Yeah, she's pretty special there, Ma. Yeah, when you marry the right one, you know it. Check. Oh, there you go, Crystal. Good night, Cassandra. Thanks for, for joining us. <laughs> the axes are uh, fairly new windshield wipers. It's just, uh, it's raining pretty good. And there's rain X on the window. <laughs> Craig, Craig says, if you buy a bacon wrapped hot dog, there will be repercussions, mister. <laughs> uh, Don't Patrick just saw you missed about Cyber Java. I haven't been there yet. And Bobby, howdy. Edward, Tower Cafe. Where is that, Patrick? It's uh, right there at Tower Theater. Oh, ta oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I know what you're talking about now. All right. I'm not really... You got to have different food. I'm not really big on them. Mike Walker, copy that. Have a good one. Take care. More of a breakfast all day. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they have breakfast there, but they're more. Um, it's not Mediterranean. What, what's their? I've never been there. Just, I mean, just sandwiches. So, I mean, but like more of a upscale ish type kind of. Thing. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you see, I'm not an upscale guy. <laughs> so where's the... Oh, shoot. No, oh, we gotta go oh, back one. Oh, it was back, back further. Yeah. It wasn't back far enough. Oh, we gotta hit the alley again. We'll hit J Street. Just in case something's going on at J Street. I loved it when we uh, had the DUI driver wrong way in front of BevMo the other week. It was almost poetic. Uh, d drunk wrong way driver. Oh, we had that over here too with the um, CHP stopping that woman. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right here too. Yeah, someone, someone did a window smash on the BevMo and the officer was here oh, checking yeah, that out. I remember hearing that one, yeah. And there's, whoa. Someone dumping gas all over the house? That doesn't sound good. Um, but right, right here, there was a guy that was wrong way driving, and she got him stopped, and he was DUI. And I thought, oh, that's kind of funny right there across from Bevmo. <laughs> Man, he is coming down. That, there's one. Both Michael and I's favorite spots. OSF. Oh yes. Oh, wrong way. Whoop, wrong way driver. 
Now we got a wrong way driver coming at us right now. Help him get turned around. We got our lights on, flood lighting him. And we'll create a safe space for him to turn around. Well, you need to get turned around. Is he drunk or what? I think he's like, turn around. What's up with this guy? Gonna block traffic here. I'll be out of the car in this dumping rain for a second. I can't tell if he's drunk or not. He was kind of a little dazed. <laughs> and the cops are too thin tonight, so. I can't remember if I turn my front flashers off or not. Okay, we did a good deep for the night. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going over here to go check out that. Uh, that was on K, huh? Yeah. No, or was that uh, on L? back? The back side of the OSF. What is that? K. Back side of the OSF. Oh yeah, we passed. Again. Again. <laughs> well, no, we didn't pass it that way. We passed right, it this yeah. way. We got railroad tracks here, so we can't get through there. <laughs> Sheesh. We're gonna go see this, damn it. <laughs> Gotta go see this display. <laughs> iPad display. Oh, cat's back up. Oh, cat's back up? All uh, right. I've been in there since 5:52. Guess we know what time it went down. So CAD's working again. That's uh, our interface with Highway Patrol. CHP traffic information page. Don't give away all our. Fixing on the guy these days. fact for your Uber and Lyft drivers out there watching, you're not allowed to stop. You need to find a place to park. Yep. Even when you're picking up a hail, you're not supposed to stop. The cops really don't like it around here. The cop will sit here and talk to you about it. Yep. Impede traffic. Wow, it is coming down. I heard more spin outs in the freeway. Why are we not hearing anything on the radio? What's going on? Uh -huh. And we stopped talking. <laughs> yeah. I heard a couple calls get, they said, uh, check your MPT for a call. Okay, so where's our. Uh... Oh, it's uh, up 
here. Miss it again. <laughs> he missed it again. Okay, we're gonna do that another night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. That's funny. Oh well. All right. That took us a while to get back around. Yeah. You never know what's gonna happen in a couple of uh, blocks. Good night, Brandy. Thanks for joining us. Bobby, why would somebody put gas in our house? That's a good question. Right, because they want to set fire to the inside. It wouldn't be the first time. Yep. You lost your Capital One card faces, is that the new door? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. And uh, what's the other one? Mahjong? Mahjong, yep. I've never been to either. Here, Mahjong's good. Oh, look. I think the park has uh, a uh, Sunday brunch. Yeah, cafeteria, their cafeteria 15L during the day. So I heard it's good. Like a buffet lunch? The brunch? Uh, I don't know. I have been. You don't find, there used to be Sunday buffet brunches all over the place, and you don't hear much of them anymore. on the comments and uh, see if anything goes down like it did last night. <laughs> Battalion 3, truck 17, medic 17, LPL, 3725 Cypress Street, unit 4A. Hey, you stalker like the uh, the brunch idea. <laughs> hey, we're, we're going to have to find a good brunch and the, the four of us go. Yeah. That'll be fun. Oh, Brandy's still on microwave. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, Brandy. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Gotcha. Brandy says, I'm not leaving yet. No way. Yeah, thanks for seeing it out all over here, Amber, from West Sac. We really appreciate that. You can take it back now. And uh, Greg's got a feeling mayhem is on the way. Yeah, we say that, then nothing happens. Yeah. We're supposed to say the Q word. Yep. Boy, it's quiet. Yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden it goes nuts up. <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, no, there um there's you know like I said, you're uh you're a professional driver, so but uh you know a lot of your Lyft and Uber drivers um don't think ahead and uh, cause issues in traffic. Brickyard in Roseville, amazing brunch. Chris, thank you. Brickyard, hmm. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Amber, we're getting the, the dumping pretty well here too. And can I, I take it back to uh, another point of entry made on the front door? I'll stand by the cover. While we're uh, hanging out. Oh, uh, where'd that go? Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
If you don't have all the information on us, there's uh, our information page. And. Our new sponsorship program for sponsoring our virtual ride alongs is a good idea if you're a business owner or just uh, would like to help us out. And uh, just like uh, Joanna's business there is tagged at the top of our comments tonight and mentioned in our title. If you become a sponsor and sponsor one of our virtual ride-alongs, we'll be pinning your business and a link there at the top of our comments and in the title. And it also goes over into our YouTube. Uh, we, we download these and we post them in our YouTube. And uh, we pull your link We pull your link along with that. Do you lose something? Uranium. Uranium. It's gotta be around somewhere. <laughs> right, Crystal. Of course, there's some here who don't even know what a Cracker Jack box is, so they don't even know what we're talking about. Nine <laughs> responding. Yeah, Rochelle, we just dropped uh, the about. Uh, I didn't even notice that you asked that question. And uh, we just dropped the about section in there. And right in the title of this is a disclaimer that we are not affiliated with any law enforcement. We are independent tactical photojournalists. Oh, man, Michael just left me. He just bailed out on the street. <laughs> if anybody finds Michael running around in the rain, uh, send him back by the way, will you? Oh, Bobby, that's horrible. I'm back. Oh, Michael's back. Oh, that's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, Justine, all that information is uh, in that link I just put up. I'll put a, another one in there. Uh, there's different uh, levels and volume pricing. So great question. Glad you asked that. But I'll throw that link in there. Where'd that go? So go.psnews.us forward slash sponsor VRA. Thanks, Rochelle. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's rain. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there is a pretty big puddle right outside my door, John. <laughs> if I did jump out, they'd go up over my boots. Yeah, there you go, Chris. So you keep an eye on everybody. Take down license plate numbers. Uh, let's see. 
124. We got about 15 minutes or so until we start kicking out. Yeah. So about 15 minutes, the bars and nightclubs will start pushing people out. And uh, that's when we start having our issues. Of course, the rain may suppress that, but doubt it. Maybe it's your pot hit? Yeah. Ooh, pot hit. Westbound 4, Franklin, I want to go. 4, North Ocean, Yellow, 490. Oh, we're showing Bane going by faces. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll definitely be back there. George 10, I'm 97. But Justine says, Michael, when you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> yeah, 175 is returning. We're covered. Okay, so that pot hit is a uh, recovered, it, recovered stolen vehicle. Okay, so uh, let's see how many people uh, like the rain and don't like the rain. If you like the rain, uh, throw up a bunch of hearts. And if you don't like the rain, put up the shock face. So if you like the rain, let's see some hearts. And if you don't like the rain, let's see some shock faces. <laughs> Let's see who likes the rain, who doesn't like the rain. Oh, we got some shock faces. Uh, it's kind of more shock faces than hearts right now. Come on, hearts, come on. Yeah, I'm not, oh, I'm getting some more rain lovers. Still more on the shock. Oh, rain lovers are getting up there. <laughs> I think someone's just fast on the hearts. I don't know. You may be my stalker. Oh, it might be your stalker doing that? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, if your stalker's loving the rain, I can see that. <laughs> oh, man, she's really loving the rain. Uh, let's see here, I'll throw in some, uh, I really don't like the rain. How's that one? <laughs> yeah, Chris, I'll go with you on the snow. I do like the snow. Can we have some th thumbs up for the snow? Let's have some thumbs up for the snow. Oh, actually, the Reese's Hot Chocolate, well, actually, it was the uh, whipped cream was Reese's. And I don't know where they, they had just had it there at the dinner I was at. Yeah, John, can we get it? You know, not such, you know, big dump. Yeah, there we go. There we go for the snow. All right. We got some thumbs up for the snow. Jose Gomez, top mechanic for public safety news. Sounds of sparks. Some sparks of visual. Well, they make the buzz crackle, you know. Yeah. Sparks with the sounds of popping. Uh, Gary, I agree with you. I do not like the heat. I'm not a heat guy. No, no. Mm -hmm. Don't like the heat either. Nope. Yeah, Michael, yeah, Michael's the same way. No heat. Michael gets sick when it gets hot. I hate the heat. Yep. Uh, Crystal, actually, right here in California, in Mammoth, where I used to live, 
Um, it gets very, very deep snow. 415 at dive bar. We're close. Got a cart coming. We'll flip around. And they haven't been blocking. Let's see if they got blocked off tonight. This is this is blocked off, so I have the other blocked off. Shoot. Tank 30, we're with them. Oh, uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, Texas gets really hot during the summer. I guess parts of it. And uh, just a reminder, tonight's uh, virtual ride-along is brought to you by Angel Wings Boutique. And if you're looking for a custom handcrafted gift for someone for this Christmas, that is a good place to go. Oh, we got some fights going on from dive bar down here. Yeah, I gotta find oh, shoot. I lost it. Look at the alley. See, like we said, we start letting people, they start letting uh, people out, and uh, get out of my way. Blocking the alley. It's a legal word. Whoa, this is flooded in here. Undercarriage is going to get it cleaning. Yeah, needs it. And we're going to park here by the cathedral and walk over. We'll bring you with us. Be that big of a deal, and uh, Michael will be running our regular camera Nikon, and I'll have you guys on gimbal so you can kind of get a look. Try and find the gimbal. Shake you guys up a little bit while you get uh, transferred over to the gimbal. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wacko. There we go. All right. The thing about the gimbals, they're a little bit uh, glitchy sometimes. Let's go for a walk. On the way, give you a tour of uh, some of the uh, artwork that's been installed here. I love this uh, this view here. Anyways, uh, we we're hanging to some action over here. <laughs> I'm a photographer. I like uh, different views and that, so I get caught up with the scenery. Like the Capitol straight through there in the center of the screen. This is Ambrosia right here where a lot of the politicians hang out for lunch. Oh, things died down. But just to kind of give you an example of uh, how things get a little wacko around here. So we're what, almost two o'clock in the morning. And uh, we have a uh, 
pretty good sized constituency of officers over here and uh, police cars in front and the uh, dive bar right here is where the uh, issue was. So this is the uh, press theater right here. They show uh, indie films and uh, old classics. Are we still uh, three channels? Four. Yeah. Four channels. Um, this is uh, called the K. This has been a redeveloped area of K Street in downtown Sacramento, just down from the Golden One Center. So, folks, you know, this is in uh, during the kickout time. Actually, I think we're just ahead of the kickout time. Um, and they kind of do is kind of a staggered kickout. But that's why we have a lot of folks down here. But uh, things get a little crazy around here. It used to be uh, kind of a nightly, well, every Friday and Saturday night, this was one of the worst areas. And uh, they'd have fights constantly down here. We would be, we were here all the time, and it's gotten a lot better. Um, we've even been standing here when there's been shots fired in one of the parking garages around here, um, and fights break out in the parking garage right around the corner. Pizza Rock is a really good spot. Um, man, they should pay us for the, you know, for this stuff. <laughs> but uh, Pizza Rock went open up. I, I was there opening day, and. It is what's going on over there. Oh, okay. Um, the executive chef is an award-winning chef from Sicily, and they have several pizza ovens in there. But the one where you see the flame—that's the back side of a uh, pizza oven imported from Sicily, if I remember correctly. But it's where they do the uh, flash baked pizzas like in like 90 seconds and uh, they have uh, other pizza ovens and it is really good I smell some good food right now oh yeah. it's those hot dogs yeah. it's those hot dogs again I can smell those hot dogs <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it smells good and I'm hungry Wherever those hot dog carts are, it always smells incredible because they fry the onions on there and um, the uh, hot dogs with the bacon, bacon wrapped hot dogs. So the smell, it just permeates the air. We're gonna walk down this way. There's a kind of some large crowds gathering up. Oh wow! Let's see. Raiders. Oh, we missed it. Uh, November 29th through 11th. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, next one is Ernest Saves Christmas on the 10th and Pulp Fiction on the 12th. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Crystal, exactly. So we got a lot of crowds over here. But things were really bad um, was when uh, K-Bar was right here. And uh, right up stairs there, it's kind of a patio style part of the club outdoors. And um, for whatever reason, that club brought a uh, 
not so good element, and it was always rocking. And I'm not just talking about the music. And uh, there was a restaurant here for a short time in this uh, middle one called The Grind, or no, The, the Grid. And it was there so short a time it didn't get to try, but it looked really good. But it didn't last, so in this corner spot's been empty for a little while. Oh, and it says they're now hiring for all positions, so don't know what's going in there. El, El Santa? Maybe a Mexican spot? El Santa? Is that what that says? El Santo. El Santo? Oh, big sign right there, right in front. Traffic collision, Bruceville Road at Oak Grove Boulevard in Oak Grove, FYI. So El Santo. That sounds like a Mexican spot that's going to be opening up. Done in their social. Dive Bar, Pizza Rock, and District 30 are uh, some of the big uh, clubs on uh, Friday and Saturday nights. This is like one of the main spots. And then down here to our right on the other side of 10th Street is Coin Op. And that's another hot spot uh, down the street there. So right down there is Coin Op. The round the round sign that's kind of blown out right there. Uh, that's where uh, Dive Bar is at. And then straight all the way down, this runs right into the Golden One Center, right down K Street. So where you see the Doco uh, sign all the way down there towards the end, uh, that's uh, right at the Golden One Center. And right where that Go Doco sign is is where the uh, old time locals remember, that's where the big hard rock guitar was for the big hard rock sign when we had a hard rock cafe It's always kind of funny where we where we hang out and think things are going to go crazy. It doesn't happen. No, it happened clear on the other end of town. But this kind of seems like the hot spot right now. Oh, I got you, John. Copy that. So John says El Santo looks like it's going to be a Brazilian steakhouse. It says Ultra Lounge on the bottom. Oh, Cantina and Ultra Lounge. There you go. Coming soon. Cantina and Ultra Lounge. I hope it does well. It seems like everything that's gone in there just doesn't last. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, right on that corner. There's something about it. Well, the K-Bar was there for a long time, but again, it just uh, really brought that really bad element into the area. Well, it's interesting too. I mean, they they only have this, so they don't have much room. Yeah. Except for the uh, does the upstairs no, go with that? That's part of social. Oh, that is social. Oh, so social. You go in there and you go upstairs. Yeah. Gotcha. So you see a pretty decent constituency of officers. Um, interesting thing here about Sacramento, we have different police units. And uh, here in the area that we're in, there's a specific police unit called the Entertainment Unit. And uh, Michael, tell us a little bit about the Entertainment Unit. Uh, their job is to patrol the Entertainment District of downtown. Make sure all the clubs are staying up to par with their uh, rules and regulations that they are supposed to follow. And if there's a police call at a club, they uh, they get a follow up by the E team. The 
E team, the entertainment team. Yeah. There's yeah. also the T team, the TAC unit. They're uh, supplemental to different areas. Oh, light rail, light rail coming through. See the light rail trains too much at night. They cut off around 11 p.m., but they're probably moving this one around. I just saw an invitation to a bakery. Hold on. Hold on. This is important stuff. Chris says his wife is a professional baker. She is trying to open a bakery in building soon. You and your co-workers may have to visit us once we open up. Awesome. Love good bakers. Oh, another train. Wow. What? I-80 bound train. So the police cars are uh, in the way. Oh, this guy's gonna go in between. Don't go in between, man. Wow. That guy just went in between the knuckle of the car. He never go in between the, the uh, trains. Did you get that on video? Yeah, just missed him. <laughs> oh man, that dude. Man. Yeah, he's lucky. That's why they don't run the trains at night around here, because uh, people aren't too uh, with it. I'm actually really surprised. Yeah they're, yeah, they're moving a lot of them around. It's a really bad timing. Are you on three? Yeah. I think they're running them until like 1.30 now. Well, no, these are all out of service. They're moving them. They're moving them. Okay. No, yeah. These, this one's in service. They had a on one night. They, uh, they run them later for a minute. This late? Wow. Yeah, here comes another one. They're stacked up. Oh, K Street's closed. Let's see if an officer's going to stop them. They've had a few pass by. They haven't cared. Yeah. Yep, the signs say K Street's closed, but the officers aren't uh, stopping anybody, so. I guess it's a suggestion. Okay, Crystal, any more advertising, you're going to have to buy a sponsorship. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll send you the invoice. Oh, there's one of the uh, hot dog carts right there. That's what we were smelling. Boop. Didn't see her with all the people.
You got it. Thanks, Crystal. Things are sounding a little heated down there. Copy that. Thank you. Tell them on the radio to be happy. If you have them, you're telling them the Oh, over here? Yeah. Yeah. Smart folks taking the cab. That, who's ever coming? Michael's buying donut 30 for anybody who's coming. No. <laughs> and this is actually driving a really neat spot of downtown. Uh, I enjoy this area. That wouldn't. When things are happening, when things aren't happening. It's uh, just kind of a neat, all the lights, all the signs. Uh, it's really nice how they've uh, redeveloped a lot of stuff. Uh, that uh, Pizza Rock down there, uh, they, they have a Sunday brunch menu. Uh, no, it's not brunch, but uh, it's brunch, but it's not um, buffet. Uh, they, I, I love corned beef hash and eggs and they have a corned beef hash and eggs pizza and it sounds horrible but it is actually really really good and once again this live virtual ride along tonight is sponsored by angel wings boutique Oh, Craig, you're killing me. Hey, can you uh, squeeze some coffee through the uh, ether world there for us? Oh, that's awesome, Crystal. Uh, Craig, actually, it, this is actually extremely mellow. I mean, like, extremely mellow. Uh, around this time, normally... On a Friday and Saturday night, it is packed with people leaving. I mean, like, crowds of people leaving. Uh, so I'm actually surprised it's not uh, more packed than what it is. Um, yeah, folks really don't realize how busy downtown is on Friday and Saturday nights. And uh, it, uh, a lot of folks... You know, when they first come on our page or start uh, seeing all of our news coverage, they think everything is going violent all of a sudden. And we actually tell folks it's actually getting better than what it was. You're just seeing it through our lens now. We literally cover 90% more news than mainstream local mainstream does. Uh, back when we were stringers and they were purchasing, uh, when they had a budget to buy our stories from us, which they don't have budgets anymore, they would only buy, purchase about 10% of the news that we aggregated, which means 90% of some good news that you should know about for your local area was still sitting on our hard drives with no way to get out to you uh, because there wasn't social media and there wasn't the uh, internet and websites like we can do today. And so once we were able to start doing that and realized it, we started pushing things out through social media and our own website and we were able to get all that news up off of our hard drives and out to you and so all of a sudden people start seeing this influx of coverage that they had never seen before like, man Sacramento is getting really violent and you know we're out in it all the time we're going no actually it's getting better you're just seeing it through our lens now so that's how important it is uh, what we do uh, we're out on the streets just like this 
um, we're monitoring, we're paying attention, and we're on scene quickly. So, um, and that's that's where news stations get their action news for the most part. And got you there, Crystal. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> All right. We're going to start heading back towards the news cruiser. Uh, just in case something breaks somewhere else. It's Sharif Jewelers. This is kind of a cool jewelry store. The lights all change there in the background. So the color is constantly changing inside the store. Good. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. They're, 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 I ate most of it already. But. Yeah, there you go. There's one of those hot dogs. Yeah. Woo. Wow. And uh, here's one of our local residents. Got quite a few people to kick out. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six open layer. Three, four, five, six police units down here. And they're almost all doubled up. Feed all those uh, hungry drunks. Ah. Uh, so they cut off the alcohol and this is your food? I don't know if uh, I don't know if Pizza Rock serves alcohol when the clubs are open. I think they want them to go into the clubs. Hey, look at that! A Crown Vic police cruiser. You don't see those much anymore. <laughs> hey, man. Well, uh, we're just uh, there was. Uh, some reports of some fights over here on the K on K Street, and uh, we stopped by to check it out and some of the activity. This is uh, the cathedral in downtown Sacramento. And we're heading back to News Cruiser Three. And some of the artwork. That's been uh, installed around here. Oh, gotta watch out for the dogs, the poodles. And there's new screws three. Yeah, with, uh, which one? That's uh, not this. What's that uh, one? Elks Tower, I think. Elks Tower. Yeah, I can't believe I've never been. There's a there's like a night. Well, it used to be like a nightclub or something. There's an event hall at the top. Mm -hmm. and they rent them out for parties and stuff. Yeah. Some uh, dances have been held there. Some of the most awesome buildings in Sacramento. I've lived here for what almost, over 15 years, and I haven't been in a lot of these yet. I'd love to go in some. I haven't even been in one of these tall buildings. But you've leaped one in a single, single bound though, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, uh, oh, this is the, uh, I, just, I, I love, I can't get enough of this, as, you know, as a photographer. Um, I love shooting this building, and especially at night, look, look at that, with the clouds. That is just an awesome uh, view, and during the day down, that's it comes out really good on the phone here uh, with the backlighting and that. It, but it is just an incredible view, and love shooting that building all different times of the day. It takes on a lot of different characteristics, 
and the lighting is just unbelievable. Oh, we got a six shot fire call. Four gun shot possibly near Fifth Street. Nothing else. 646 and Norris Street 38. Okay, you guys are going to go wonky for a little bit while we get you mounted back up and we have a shot and fire call hard. around 6 and N Norris Street, which is near the federal building. Over there. Oh, keys in the ignition will be a good thing. <laughs> I, I told him I was making him go wonky. Oh, I got him. Might as well. <laughs> So we're heading to a report of shots fired uh, between 5th and 6th on N. Norris Street, which is a block west of the Johnny Moss Federal Building, the back side of that, uh, one block south of Capitol Mall. So we're going to be uh, paying attention and listening to the radio. No injuries and can we get a tow started for the Dodge? We listen to the radios carefully. Chris will have to catch up on those after this call. Two forty two in progress with injuries of faces. Sam three to copy. A multiple subjects in a two forty two. There's a couple requesting medical aid because they're bleeding. So back no at further information at faces two thousand K Street. Back at the area where we were hanging out all night by faces. There's been a large fight with several people injured. They told you whenever we're not there is when it happens. When we're there, it doesn't happen. And we're going to slide into this area and do what we call stage. Yeah, because this is a report of shots fired. We kind of get close to the area. 12, 35, A1, tow is en route for your car. But we wait till officers get in the area and start checking it out and wait for additional reports. But while we're waiting, got a cool view for you. So that's the uh, Wells Fargo building on Capitol Mall. Currently Sacramento's tallest building, I believe. Is it? Yep. yep. Uh, is that or is the U.S. Bank the tallest? Uh, that may have topped it out. Maybe. Yeah. I think U.S. Bank might be. Most Fargo was. Yeah. But, uh... Last week, I, uh... We stopped in front of here and took you guys up, if you were with us, to see all the lit up trees inside the lobby there, the Wells Fargo building.
Uh, so that'll be uh, city police, uh, Sacramento Police Department's responding to that. I hope it's still taller by about 15 feet. Which is Wells Fargo? Yeah. So the Wells Fargo's building is taller than the U.S. Bank building by 15 feet. See, that's why we call him OK Michael. <laughs> he has all the details. Hi, Rochelle. Uh, no, uh, we're independent photojournalists. Fox 40 gets their news from us, or Action News. Uh, they're one of the only news agencies that still buys from us on a rare occasion at a very reduced rate. Um, so you will sometimes see our action footage on Fox 40. It shows Ace took a nap. <laughs> you didn't miss much. Yeah, Joseph's always busting Ace's chops. It's good. Yeah, there's just something about the uh, Crown Vic engine sound. That and the Mustang with the Roush engine. I love that Roush engine. Uh, thanks, Crystal. We'll have to let you know on that. Got to got that message. And again, Rochelle, we appreciate that. And again, that's all the all the local uh, news agencies follow us. And uh, most of the photogs and the reporters and the producers follow our social media. Attention all divisions. Fact TV will be resuming a two-channel operation. Three two one six four four. Fact TV two zero seven. Yeah, Rochelle, we are one hundred percent volunteer. I know. Drop your jaw. Um, we. Most of our viewers know the story, uh, but back in the day, we were what was known as news stringers. If you've watched the movie shot or the series Netflix series Shot in the Dark, um, or seen the movie Nightcrawler, which was very slimy and very poor representation of our industry, most people knew nothing of news stringers. Three ten thirty three. Three ten thirty three. Before that. On this call, call it faces, do we have any victims calling in or just bystanders? We only had one caller, unknown if it was... It was someone involved, unknown if it was... A okay. victim or someone... I'm going to lock on channel 4 up here. Um, so, Rochelle, um... 3, engine 19, medic 19, ill person... We have to keep stopping for radios. Um, when the economy crash happened, all the local news stations lost their budgets to pay us. Uh, I was making about a thousand to two thousand a week at the time, and uh, that for all of us here in the area, all the stringers, uh, that pretty much laid all of us off. But our team has always been community-minded, not money-driven, even though we need to make paychecks. And we stuck together to keep the community informed because without what we do, uh, you wouldn't know about 90% of the news that we aggregate. Uh, you'd be relying on mainstream to get that. And they only, like I said earlier, they only would pick up about 10% of the news that we aggregated. And 90% of you know what we aggregate would be sitting on our hard drives. Um, so now uh, we pulled together and we created a nonprofit, and which just uh, came through. We've been working on that for about over two years, and that just came through a few months ago. And so now we're in the fundraising mode. And it's funny, some some of our old viewers said, "You guys are just all about money now." Well, no, we've always been about money, but we couldn't do anything about it, and now we can. 
So we. 2275 Avenue. So now we need to create some paychecks and uh, get some grants, but we need our viewers to be our main source of funding. We need to be viewer supported. But part of the problem there is we're finding we're learning that uh, the majority of our viewers are millennials, and millennials just plain old don't like to pay for anything. Most people don't on the internet. Yeah. And um, so the fundraising has been uh, an arduous task. And uh, one thing we thought would happen, we started the subscription model here on Facebook. At 99 cents, we have over 26,000 likes and I think over or near 30,000 followers. And we thought for sure if, you know, just a quarter of our viewers would subscribe for 99 cents a month, that would put us, give us a really good start, a really good foundation, but we can barely get, we can't even reach 70 Facebook subscribers. So um, we're having to be creative. So that's why our virtual ride-along sponsorships are very important and we're thankful for the ones who have already signed up to, spo to be sponsors and we need more sponsors. So if you know anyone with a business or someone who would like to sponsor a night of live coverage, we would greatly appreciate that. Thanks, Michelle. And we like to say it's in our DNA. Um, we really believe in what we're doing, and most of us believe pretty much it's what we've been put on this earth to do. <laughs> and uh, that link right there is how folks can learn how to be a sponsor. For virtual ride along, there's all different levels there. Yeah. Which reminds me, our sponsor tonight is Angel Wings Boutique. Pin there at the top of your comments and in the title. And click on that link, click, click to see more, and click on the link. And make sure you visit Joanna's. Uh, Facebook page there and see all of the handcrafted items she can make. She does take requests. That's a good idea if you want to do something personalized and special for someone for Christmas. And Craig, exactly, and we appreciate that. We understand some folks aren't in a position to help out. And that liking and sharing is a great way to also support us. Battalion 4, engine 11, vehicle accident, south I 5 at the Timmins River Boulevard off ramp. Vehicle accident, south I 5, Timmins River Boulevard off ramp. Battalion 4, engine 11, turn up, 269 Delta 2, operation 23. Oh, uh, Greg, yeah, that that's uh, common. Uh, share, all the law enforcement agencies do that. William 32, um, and, William 32 and I are with Alpha 31. <laughs> and uh, Greg was saying, I can't believe SACPD cuts down the channels at night and the call load drops down, so they drop down uh, dispatchers and condense the channels. And we'll go ahead and... Sheriff does it as well. Yeah, Sheriff's Department does it. Sheriff's Department used to do one channel countywide at night. They now keep it at two, but that's, that's a more recent thing. They used to go one channel from about 3 a.m. till about 6 a.m. Wow.
Hey, Crystal, that's cool. Oh, they're putting more of the closures in place for tomorrow. I guess that's because by nightfall everybody's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Uh, that's good. Actually, they uh, on these nights like this, they let a lot of people walk because they just wouldn't have the room. Jail's backed up. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, the jail. Yeah, the guarantee could go to jail right now. They're backed up on booking. The sheriff's department has a van that will pick up all the in custody from the patrol deputies and do all the booking for them so that they can keep patrol out on the streets. How about 24 and 25, we're getting a duplicate caller now advising that someone is saying there's somebody here with a gun, we're still trying to get further. Hmm. Somebody somewhere with a gun. Where the person is with the gun. Based on, now we have a night and a gun possibly involved with the search unit, please. I've certainly had requested uh, Alpha 66 on proximity, but I'll start off with 12 from District. Yeah, so already uh, we're seeing a lot of the closures in place for downtown for the marathon tomorrow. So yeah, you, you really want to stay away from the core of downtown tomorrow if you don't have anything to do with the marathon. Uh, does the info from the gun come in after the comms said that the subject left? George Kendler, we're there. Trying to break into the gun shop. Yeah, we're I'm looking at the time this came about here, 15 seconds. Hey, uh, you're like stopped, like kind of in the lane, out of the lane. Y'all all right? Um, Favorite flavor of cake? Hmm. Good question. Chocolate. Black Forest is like my absolute favorite. Cherries and chocolate. Oh. Black Forest cakes are just incredible. There's a church where Michael got married on the right. I've got a video of Michael trying to jump out the second story window trying to escape the wedding though. You bring that up every time. I know. Just in case any of our new viewers haven't heard that you tried to escape. And I saved the day. I also did just have a beautiful wedding there too. That's you know, that's the important part of that. Exactly. That was an off that that was the most awesome wedding I have ever been to in my entire life, I have to admit. <laughs> and it wasn't just because I was the best man. That was part of it. <clears throat> wasn't hot either, which I love. Ooh, whipped cream or butter, buttercream? Ooh, probably buttercream. <laughs> Craig and Hummer, of course, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like Hummers. I, if anyone wants to donate a Hummer to us for our next news cruiser, um, we're, we're, a, we're a non-profit and it's a write-off. So uh, we would gladly uh, accept a Hummer if someone went to <coughs> donate it to us with the lights all tricked out and everything, you know, big inverter so we can plug all of our gear in. We would yeah. also need about 50 viewers to 
chip in for the fuel for that daily. Right. <laughs> Actually, I probably use less fuel than this. This thing is a fuel hog. Uh, Craig, Craig says the friendship we have is awesome. Man, you just don't know. I mean, I can't stand Michael. I mean, he's just, I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, we just like... <laughs> I met this guy in a parking lot. Yeah, see? Yeah, we met in the parking lot. <laughs> Chasing calls separately. Yeah. No, we really, uh, Michael and I are best friends, and, um, I even got a pocket watch that says best friend on it. That's cool. <laughs> Michael gave me a cool pocket watch when I was his best man at his wedding. And I absolutely love that thing. <laughs> Michael and Justine's dance for their after their wedding was to Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> My wife is a huge Disney fanatic. Oh, me too. What is... This is from the guy that someone that got knocked out. Yes. Something. We'll hang out here. Battalion 2, engine 6. Check and extinguish fire. 5640, Odea Drive. Check and extinguish fire. 5640, Odea oh, Drive. Battalion 2, engine 6. Fire map 210, Charlie 2, operations Bravo 3. In front of depot, right across some faces. They're uh, getting ready to load him up in the ambulance. So I don't know if this is the guy that was drunk or the guy that got knocked out. So that's it for that. And like I said, this is uh, one of the, it, ju it just is. There's, I mean, we can say it emphatically. This is one of the most violent areas uh, downtown on Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, police and fire are here nightly on the weekends. And it seems like there's always someone going away in an ambulance um, due to a fight. Uh, or something or assault and then on the back side uh, you guys are with us um, as soon as we started and we pulled up on the back side of faces uh, right when we pulled up tonight there was a girl running by us saying stop that guy stop that guy he just stole my phone and my purse and uh, the suspect went running right past us um, so they're trying to track that phone but uh, to no avail so far, as far as we know. Are going to stay there for any type of report with this small unit? Right now we have it in as a 417 time element. We're still getting through. No, Craig, that's the H2. The H1 is the big military. Looking yeah, the big, huge one. That's the H1. The H2 is the one that we passed earlier, and the H3 is the smaller one. I think that one too. Yeah, yeah, I think the size of the H2s, and they're roomier inside for what we do. I've been in one a couple of times, and especially, you know, we we often run a th we, well, we try to run a three-man crew, and we have computers going, and. That Hummer is just really ideal for a crew, plus all the uh, cargo space for our gear. Uh, got you, Greg. See, you can't take your eyes off for a minute. You miss it. You miss the action. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal says downside to a Ford Focus. 
Uh, yeah, we wouldn't fit in there, Crystal. Wouldn't work. Sorry. <laughs> About the smallest we could probably go down to would be a Ford Explorer. Um, we thought of a Sprinter van, but the way we need to get places, a van just really isn't a good idea for us. Yeah, Ford Focus. Why don't we just go, you know, a Leaf would really be uh, really economical. We should uh, go down to that one. Well, look at that. Just like that, everybody is cleared out. Just that fast. Ah, oh, Crystal. <laughs> we said the gear and the equipment. Why we didn't help that lady out? What the one with the phone, the purse? Uh, you forget we're photojournalists. <laughs> we don't chase bad guys. <laughs> Story. We don't yeah, we shoot the story, not guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been here the last couple of nights. Yeah, it looks like it's a. It says the one that wants to bring us the cake and all the goodies. <laughs> the crystal. Oh, there you go. Now, see, Greg's got the right idea. There, I like Greg's thinking. So we need the combat version of the Humvee mm -hmm. with a camera turret. There you go. There you go. Kaiser South, Medic 53, Coast Street traffic. All right, y'all. It's about Donut 30. We appreciate all of our viewers and our sponsor tonight once again, Angel Wings Boutique. With Joanna, and uh, click the link there and go over to her Facebook page and uh, consider having her make something for you for a gift this Christmas season. And again, uh, if you know of a business owner or someone who would consider her being a sponsor for our virtual ride alongs. Please have them uh, send them our link to a ps go .ps .us forward slash sponsor vra. Right, so that link in here one more time for you. Right there. And uh, we appreciate all of you, and thanks for the clicks, likes, and the shares. And we will see you again soon. Uh, we're not sure about tomorrow night, but uh, if you see us pop on, uh, you'll know we're out. Have a great one. Stay safe, stay dry, and make sure you get all your Christmas shopping done. This is Maverick and Michael. Bye. See y'all. Thanks again for joining us.